Hey, Bruno, I just sent you the money you asked me to lend you. Please check your bank account later to make sure it got in there. Oh, thanks for that, Ozzy. That'll help me out a lot. So how's mom doing these days? I haven't been getting any replies from her recently, so I was kind of wondering if she's doing all right. As of right now, she has a small cold. She caught a cold? Is she all right? She doesn't have any bad symptoms, so you don't have to get too worried about her. But she did have that surgery three months ago, so her body is still a bit weak from that. It'll take her some time to get over the cold is all now. I just ask her to sleep as much as she can to start feeling better, you know? I see. So that's why she wasn't answering any of my calls, and hasn't read any of my texts to her. She's also been taking some meds that she got from her doctor. It makes her get all sleepy and even make her a little high even. A lot of the time she's telling me she doesn't even have it in her anymore to read the texts on her phone. The only thing she's really doing anymore is sleeping in her chair while she has the TV on. But she is getting better, slowly but surely, so there's no need to worry. She was able to eat her breakfast today, so that's all we can ask for from her. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. Thank you again for being there for Mom, Bruno. I really wish I could be there as well to look after her, after that surgery. But having to go on this business trip overseas for months on end was not expected. I'm sorry for leaving you there all alone to care for mom while I'm on the other side of the planet. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm fine living here with my mom again, so there are no problems going on here. But I will say I'm sorry for always asking you for money. That's not a problem for me. I have the ability to hand over a little bit at a time, so I'll continue to do so until you're doing well yourself again. And it's the only thing I'm able to do to help right now. So please, don't feel sorry for asking. Thank you, Ozzy. So, when are you supposed to be coming back to the States again, or do you still not have an official date yet? Well, at the earliest, it's looking like I'll be able to come back in another two months or so. Hmm? That's a lot sooner than I was expecting. Really? I thought this trip has been way too long, and I should have been back home by now. I've been here for close to three months now, and the fact that I can't even get myself a decent burger here really sucks. I mean, the food isn't that bad, but I could really do for a burger and some fries. Uh, don't they have any fast food burger joints over there, though? Um, they do, but it's not the same thing we have there. And I'm talking about a decent burger. Not some frozen thing that barely has any real flavor to it. I suppose a fast food burger isn't quite the same as if you get a burger at a restaurant. Uh, sorry. I'm sure that if it wasn't for you always having to give me some money, you could probably afford to order some good quality beef and make your own burgers there. I'm not blaming any of this on you. You're not asking me for my whole life savings or anything, so you can stop feeling sorry about it. I would like you to have some money, just like me. Especially with the off chance that mom's condition starts to get worse again. I suppose so. I need to start working harder myself though to save up some money. I told you not to worry. You're already having to balance caring for mom all the time, and your own life. There is no need for you to start stressing about money when I'm able to give you some. I want you to just focus on yourself and mom for me, and make sure you both stay in good health. Thank you. Then I'll continue to take good care of mom for us, okay? Just make sure that you're relaxing a bit yourself and enjoy your time overseas. I will. Just, if you have anything come up, please let me know right away. I will do whatever I can from here to help you both out. Alright. Well, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Uh, Ozzy, are you able to chat right now? Sure. What's going on? Is this about Mom? Actually, this has something to do with Mom. Alright. What do you have to tell me about her? Is she doing alright? Um, she's becoming sick again. She's had to go to the hospital for it as well. What? And because it's come back as well, she's gonna need another surgery. Is that so? So, if they're able to do another round of surgery on her, then she should become better again, right? That's what I was thinking, but the cost of her being back in the hospital again and the surgery, the bill will come out to around $20,000. Really? 20000 What about her insurance? Are they able to cover a large amount of that? 
That's the cost of things, with her insurance already included. I'm very aware that you won't be able to afford all that on your own. And so for the time being, I can go and get a loan to cover the cost of the surgery. And then after she's out of the hospital and everything, I can work on paying off that debt, okay? No, I can pay for all of that. Uh, what? Uh, are you sure about that? It'll be fine. If $20,000 is going to be the final cost of things, then I'll take care of it for you guys. Luckily, I have some money saved up for emergencies like this. So, we'll all be okay here. Ozzy, thank you so much for that. I'm sorry about this. What are you talking about? I told you that I have money saved up for moments like this. So there's no need to feel sorry about that. And it's for mom. So I don't care how much I have to pay in order for her to feel better again. I still feel bad, though. Then, do you think that you can send me some money sometime this week so I can start to pay the hospital? Sure, I'll make that happen. Now, when is she expected to go in for the surgery? They're saying by early next week, as long as I have enough money to pay afterward. If not next week, though, they're saying that the latest she'll be able to get the surgery is in two weeks. I see. I wonder if I can do anything to get my company to let me come back home. Uh, wait, are you trying to come home? Well, Mom's going to have to go in for another surgery, right? I'm really worried about how this one will go. Hold on, I was just worried about the cost of the surgery, and that was all I was worried about. As long as you handle that, then everything will be fine here. The doctors even said that the surgery will go perfectly for her, with little chance of there being any problems, and I'll be able to watch over things here. But Bruno, recently I haven't been able to talk with Mom at all. She's not even picking up her phone when I call her. I think she's having a hard time thinking about and handling her phone. There is also a time difference between where we are and where you are. I think as long as you keep on messaging her, I can remind her to take a look at those messages, you know? Really? She doesn't have her phone on her right now, as it's still at home. But next time I go with her, I'll make sure I bring her phone with me, okay? And at that time, I'll let her know to get back to you. Thank you, Bruno. And as for the day of the surgery, once I have the date, I'll let you know. For right now, I wouldn't be too concerned about coming home until after I get the update from her doctor. I'm sure that you can't take too much time off work right now, right? I suppose so. I guess I'll just wait until we know the date of a surgery. Once I've heard from you when that'll be, I can talk with my manager and see if I can make it home. That sounds like a good idea to me. When I know the date, I'll tell you right away. I'll get to work on sending you that $20,000 then. Please keep a close eye on mom. And tend to all her needs for me. It's really helped ease my worries a lot, having you there with her. I'm the one that should be thanking you for all this though. I'm so happy and thankful to have a younger brother like you who can be relied on for anything. Ozzy, I'm pretty sure it's getting late over there, right? Sorry for texting you when you're probably already going to bed. But this is an emergency. Mom will need to go in for another round of surgery. Huh? It's been less than a month since the last surgery, so I'm already really shocked by what I've heard. But this time the doctor said that it will just be a quick in and out, so there will be no worries. However, since it's another surgery, uh... Can I ask for your help with money again? This time we need $3,000, uh... Can you do that for us? I'll be able to handle the other expenses if you pay for that. Bruno, what are you going on about? You're lying right now about mom needing another surgery. Right now, mom is on the verge of death, and no surgery will be able to help it. Uh, uh, what the hell are you talking about? Don't joke about mom being on her deathbed right now, you jerk. I would never joke about something as serious as what's going on right now. I wonder whose fault it is that mom is now stuck on life support and will most likely succumb to her illness. Ozzy, what the actual hell are you talking about? Are you freaking drunk or something? Right now, I'm back in the States. Right back here in Arizona, actually. What? And when I went back to see Mom at the house, she was on the floor, barely breathing. Bruno, you haven't been looking after Mom whatsoever this whole time, have you? I bet you haven't even been going back home to watch over her at all this whole time. And what the hell happened to that $20,000 I sent you to pay for her surgery you were telling me about before? Had I arrived home just 10 minutes later than I did, she would most likely have already been dead! 
Hold on, she really did go in for surgery, though. And the only reason I wasn't home when you got there is because of the past few days, I've had some important things to tend to. Anyways, we should be focusing on mom right now. I'll be coming to the hospital right now. You don't have to come. Actually, you don't have to come around either of us ever again, Bruno. Why the hell would you say that? I'm worried about mom right now, okay? While mom has been struggling to stay with me, she told me about you. And she told me not to allow you to come here. She doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. That's what she whispered in my ear as we were in the ambulance coming here. So even if you do come to this hospital, I've already told the staff not to let you in this room with us. You can come, but you won't be seeing either one of us. You just said that mom has been struggling to stay awake, right? She might actually be in a haze and she doesn't have any clue what she's saying to you. I'm not sure about what has all gone down between you and her yet. But the only time she ever got surgery was right before I left overseas. And that's it. So I know about how that $20,000 went somewhere else instead of where it was meant to go. I know for a fact that you lied to me about it and took my money. For the time being, I want to focus on mom. Oh, is that right? Well, once mom is dead, just give me a call. I don't need to deal with you right now. <laughs> what? This whole time I've just been waiting for her to just die. And I'm sure that you felt the same way about her, right? She's just been sick all the time, costing us more of our freedom and our money. Having her kick the can is the best when it comes to us. And we'll also be given access to whatever money comes from her life insurance. Are you being serious with me right now? No, oh, come on already. You're worried about mom right now, right? Well, if you want to be around her, then tell her at least to make sure I'm getting a chunk of her money as well in that will. I'd also like to be getting at least the same amount that you got. Hey, uh, Ozzy? The funeral should be over now, right? When are you gonna have access to all mom's money? Can you please just hurry it up with the paperwork and have my share sent to my bank account? There is no money. Uh, huh? Mom had life insurance, right? Hold on, where is that money at? Do you plan to hoard all of it to yourself or something? If that's the case, then I'm gonna sue you. You've got it all wrong. Mom is still alive. Uh, what? But you told me before she was on her deathbed. And she somehow came back too. Huh? Wait, why is she still trying? That old bitch has already been causing us so much trouble as she continues to try and breathe our air. I'm not gonna bother with her anymore. When she's dead, just let me know. I just want her money, that's all. Do you still think you'll have access to any of her money, Bruno? Of course I do. I'm the eldest son, after all. Uh, anyway, I guess you'll have to know that even if Mom is saying she doesn't want to give me any of her money in that will, I happen to be one of her kids, so there is no stopping me from getting my share. Understood? There's no way of stopping me from getting the money. <laughs> nope. There is a way to stop you, and that's called having you disown from the family. For good. We're working on the paperwork for that right now as we speak. That means when the time comes that Mom passes away, you'll have nothing to do with her. Uh, huh? There's ways of getting removed from a family, and being disowned is one of them. And we're doing that in order to keep her money out of your hands. What the hell? You seem to know all about being in a will and getting her money, but nothing about how easy it'd be for her to no longer label you as a part of her family. For instance, if you've committed a crime against her, she can say that you no longer have any right to her things as an inheritor. And since you have caused harm to her, on both a physical and an emotional level, she's going to get rid of you. What are you saying, Ozzy? I didn't do anything to that hag. You were never around to care for mom while she was at home recovering from a surgery. You also stole mom's phone from her. You did that in order to keep her and I apart, right? So far, everything that you've done is good enough ground for us to have a lawyer take you out of her will and exclude you from the family. 
I made mom meals and all that crap. A few times every month, right? And those times, all you did was pop your head in and pull a TV dinner out of the freezer and leave it on her bed with her to thaw out! You didn't even bother warming it up or anything for her. And yet, you still don't seem to get it, do you? Mom is old and frail. By never caring for her, you were the one that caused her to get even more sick. Because of that, her health only became worse. And that's what landed her in the hospital again. And all that money I was sending you for both yourself and her, you spent only on yourself, asshole! Don't talk to me like you deserve anything else from us, when you already took $20,000 from me. You're the one that told me I should relax. So why are you getting all upset with me when I was just using that money to relax? I did nothing wrong. But you didn't do anything to help mom when she needed you most. Not all that money was meant for you to use on yourself. Most of that was meant for her to pay for her house, and for her food, for her checkup bills, and for things like medication and such. Most of that money was for her, and not for you. Not for you to go out and play, while you left your sick mother at home to die! You should be thankful that I even came back to the house to check up on her those few times. Had I just stayed with her all those months, mom would have been long gone. I have the freaking right to her money. Then when the lawyer and I take you to court, you can use that as your reason to not be kicked out of this family. I'm not sure the judge will agree with anything you've just said, but you seem to have a lot of faith in the sins you've committed. Mom and I have had enough of you in our lives, and starting today, you are no longer going to be seen as anyone besides a thief and a killer. Oh, come on, Ozzy. I wasn't away from Mom all that time but just because I didn't want to take care of her. I was busy with work all that time, and I really had to stay there for long stretches of time, you know? No point in making up excuses like that now. Have you forgotten what you said to me back when Mom was on her last legs and close to death? You said she should just hurry up and die. Or something along those lines. You said that, Bruno. That was just a, a little, um, uh, well... You had no idea what I'd been going through at the time and that were just tearing through me at the time. That pissed me off a little. I was just angry as all. And you were telling me to stay away from mom. I think anyone that saw mom in her condition when I got home would be pissed at you. And the reason why she was like that was because of your lies. I gave you $20,000 to pay for a surgery that never ended up actually happening, right? I'm sorry about that, but I have no other option at the time. The honest truth is, my girlfriend that I used to live with was asking me to pay her back for all the money I made her pay in order to have me there. She asked that out of nowhere, and she kind of told me that if I didn't pay her back, then she could take me to court and sue me. Would you stop lying, Bruno? You'd have been in debt that whole time, right? You would always come home to Mom's house to sleep at night, but then would leave every day to go out and play. However, one day the person you were borrowing money from came and paid you a visit. And so you had to pay up, right? Well, guess what? He came back here again this week asking for you to come out. Uh, what? Hold on, did he, did he say anything else to you? He sure did. He told me about how much you owe. And did you tell him anything? Yup. I told him the location of where you work currently. Uh huh? What the hell have you done? If he comes back to my work, then what the heck is gonna happen to me? It's your fault for getting in that much debt with a loan shark. You idiot. Oh, come on. Help me out here, Ozzy. Uh, just another $5,000 is all I need from you. Huh? What happened to the $20,000 I sent you before? I just need a little more to pay this guy to go away. If I can't get him to leave me alone, then who knows what he's gonna do to me. I don't really care what he does to you. I can't let you cause mom and I any more trouble because of your selfishness. So whether he busts your teeth in with a bat or just straight up kills you, I don't care. Ozzy, please! I'll get you that 20,000 back, okay? So just another 5,000, please! Weren't you just asking for $30,000 for me last week? I was gonna get 2000 together myself to make up the difference then. 
but that's not gonna happen. I really believed a couple weeks ago that you weren't the type of man that would throw his own mother away and run off. But now I know I was wrong about you. And you very much are the kind of heartless creature. I will no longer trust you as my brother. You find a way to get that man his money yourself. And that money you stole from me? That $20,000? Better come back to me. Very soon as well. Ozzy, I'm sorry for lying to you, okay? I'll apologize to mom as well, so just please forgive me. I'll never stab either of you in the back again. And so please, Ozzy, you and I are brothers. Not anymore. All you owe to me is a lost cause. The kind of lost cause that would hurt his own mother so that he could steal his brother's money. I will never forgive you for any of that. This earth would be a much better place without a no-good family-hunting monster like you in it. I'm not sure what ended up happening to Bruno after that, but the loan shark stopped coming to the house looking for him. I'd like to think he was finally forced to take responsibility for the money he borrowed and wasn't paying back. I had wanted to help him out at the time, at least a little bit. But when I thought about how thin and frail my dying mother looked as I came home to find her with no help at all, there was no way I'd help a monster that caused that get out of trouble. The whole reason I ended up coming home from my business trip early is because it had been so long since I heard from my mom. And I had a bad feeling about her. I felt as though Bruno was lying to me about something, and that mom was in danger. Just before asking to return back to the States, I called the hospital asking about whether my mom had that surgery or not. And when they told me no, I knew it was time to go home. It might have been a small bad feeling that I had had, but I am so happy that I believed in it and took action. Even now, I have stopped doing any business trips for the company, and am now staying with my mom at home, while going to work three times a week from there. My mom has been getting a lot better as she's been going to her checkups regularly and getting the medication she needed. Of course, she's not able to do any strenuous activities anymore, but she can get up to walk around the house some, and even cook on her own again. Had I never gone overseas for work, I could have been able to take care of her. And she could have avoided this hell she had to live through. I really shouldn't regret things that have already happened. But as long as I have my mom around for a little while longer and love her with all of my heart, I think I can make up for the mistakes I made by leaving her before. From now on, I'll be by her side at all times to support her, as well as enjoy time with her. All will no longer have to think about the monster that once hid inside our family, known as Bruno. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story!